Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to convert objects from The Sims 2 into The Sims 3. Um, starting off this tutorial, I'm going to uh, tell you that you, you're going to be needing to download SimP, Milkshape, and TSRW. You're also going to want to pull out the, um, the plugins from the TSRW file to go into Milkshape so you can open up object files. So I'm going to quickly show you how to do that now. You're going to go into your computer drive, into Program Files. Mine is under Program Files times 98 or 86, but um, yours most ow. <laughs> but yours most likely will be in Program Files. So we're going to go into The Sims Resource, TSR Workshop, Extras, and then Milkshake Plugins. You're going to copy these and go back to your um, Program Files until you find Milkshape and you're just going to paste them in here. Make sure that Milkshape isn't open while you're doing this because it won't show up. So now that we have the plugins installed and everything downloaded, we're going to go um, to TSR Workshop and select create a new project and we're going to go to object and it's going to load. So then we're going to go to decor and plants and we're going to select the sculpture plant ivy ball topiary and then you're going to name your project whatever so I'm going to name mine tutorial if I can actually type. Please whatever okay. Now, we're gonna go to- okay, it didn't like my keyboard shortcuts. So now it's gonna load our meshes, and this program loves to make us wait. But it teaches us patience. Um, and now we're gonna go over to the mesh tab, and export this, it's like right here, and export it as a plant. You can name it whatever you want, just make sure that you remember that it's the plant object file. And now we're going to get our package file for the object that we're going to convert. So um, I went on Around the Sims 2 and I'm going to be down or converting this like band-aid box because how fun is that? Um, so I downloaded it and I opened up the zip file. You're also going to need a WinRAR if you don't already have it. And you're going to export out the uh, object file, which is what we're going to be opening in SimP. So go to open and we're going to go and find our mesh, or not our, our mesh, but our object. So now we have this huge uh, root menu. But we're going to scroll to the bottom and find texture image and you're going to get two pictures. One is going to be this like dark shadowy thing and then the other one will be what you need. So we're going to have this. This is what we want. We're going to hit export and we're going to export it into our folder. I already have mine saved because I've already done this but now we're going to go up again and we're going to find the geometric data container. You're going to have to make sure that only this um, is selected and not the ground shadow before you export it. Export it once again to your folder. Now in Milkshape, we're going to hit File, Import, TSRW Object, and we're going to want to open the plant object. And now we're going to go to File import wavefront object and you're going to want to open up the um, the object file from SimP. So now it should look something like this. But we're going to go and delete group 1 and move up to group 0. Go to the model tab Hit scale and then scale into 
then go to joints, cell assigned, and then hit assign. Now we're going to export this as a TSRW object, and we're going to name it Mesh1. And then we're going to delete group 0 and export it again as a TSRW object, but name it Mesh2. Now back in TSR Workshop, we're going to go to the Mesh tab and make sure it says high level of detail and import Mesh number 1. And it's going to load. Now we're going to go to the medium level of detail and import mesh number two. I'm going to wait for it to load. So now it should look like this. So. To fix it, we're going to go to the textures, and we're going to go to the overlay, and import the texture file. Make sure, um, if you can't find it, you need to move it down to PNG, or bitmap image, and it should be there. And we're going to have enable alpha channel and keep current alpha selected, hit continue. And then done. And it's going to ask you um, to update the materials or whatever. You're just going to hit yes. So now it looks like this. So we're going to fix the shadowing. So we're going to go back to mesh and go to the shadow high level of detail. Um, there's like these two blue arrows. We're going to click them. Select the medium detail one entries like these two and hit OK. And now once this loads, <laughs> uh, why do you do this to me? Okay, now that that loaded, we're gonna go down and do the same exact thing for the medium level. And it's going to load. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to go back up to the um, high level of detail. And we're going to have a beautiful box of band-aids. So go to the project tab and make sure everything is how you want it. How you like, categorize it and stuff. My description is not right. But that doesn't matter right now. Because this isn't actually going to be used. Um, go to file, export. And export it as a Sims 3 pack or a package. And put it in your game and test it out and see if it works. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Oh Lord. Um, thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, just send me and ask on my Simbler or leave a comment below and I will answer it. Um, thanks for watching.